apply for the Spanish Digital Nomad Visa as a director of my company. Hello and welcome to Spain Guru. Today we are addressing a hot topic many of you have asked about. Can company directors apply for Spain's Digital Nomad Visa? There's quite a bit of confusion about this, so let's clear it up with some key insights, detailed explanations and real examples to guide you through the application process. Firstly, it's crucial to understand that directors of company, whether you're a sole proprietor, operate with business partners or share directorship with a spouse, are indeed eligible for the Digital Nomad Visa. This dispels the common myth that only freelancers or those with external employers qualify. In fact, at the conference in March 2024, the director of the Digital Nomad Office stated that they prefer applications where the applicant has a contract with their own company, LLC or LTD, rather than contracts with multiple clients. This preference can actually work in your favor as a company director. Let's talk about the key documentation required. To apply successfully, you'll need several specific documents. Contractual agreement, have a contract between you and your company. The contract must at least be three months old. If you're the sole owner, it's preferable you have another authorized signatory like an accountant or a board member. However, if this isn't possible, many applicants have successfully signed the contracts themselves for both the company and as the individual. Then financial proofs. Submit three months worth of invoices or dividend statements along with the personal bank statements that reflect these payments. Remember, the income can be a combination of salary and dividends as long as it meets the minimum requirement of 2,646 euros per month. Then the remote work authorization. A letter from your company stating you are authorized to work remotely from Spain. Even if you are the sole director, this letter is crucial. And then a certificate of good standing or similar document proving that your company has been operational for over a year. This is a non-negotiable requirement. Now let's go through some common questions answered about the autonomous status. Being a director applying for the DNB doesn't immediately categorize you as autonomo. This status applies after you've secured the visa, affecting how you handle social security and taxes in Spain. Once approved, you will need to register with so Spanish social security as autonomo and payments will be automatically deducted from your account each month. Then, the apostille requirements. Regarding documents like your marriage certificate, the authorities require a recent apostille to ensure that validations are up to date. However, the certificate itself doesn't need to be newly issued. Then, income reporting. It's essential to maintain the minimum income requirements set out in your initial application, reporting any significant changes in your employment or income sources. The minimum income can include a combination of salary and dividends, and even rental income can serve as additional proof of funds, although it cannot replace the need for a primary business contract. Then, contract timing and signatories. The contract between you and your company must be at least three months old at the time of application. While it's preferred that someone else sign on behalf of your company, such as a CPA or board member, it is also acceptable for sole directors to sign both roles if no other option exists. Make sure to consult with legal and tax professionals familiar with the Digital Nomad Visa application. Here at Svenguru.es, you can find our recommended partners. In conclusion, if you are contemplating to move as a director of your own company, the Spanish Digital Nomad Visa is well within your reach, provided you carefully provided the necessary documentation and understand the legal intricacies involved. Oh, and one more thing. Apparently YouTube says you're gonna love watching this video right here. I think you should watch it.